This is Dana Susan Beasley of AngelArts.biz, and I'm continuing a series on transforming your stress into blessings. Before I get started, if you would like to get a free Blessings devotional plan, look below for the link. This PDF resource has tons of verses on blessed, blessing, and bless that will provide you devotionals for months and truly bless your socks off. Now let's get to today's devotional. And I will start to start with prayer. Blessed Lord, we thank you that we are utterly dependent on you. Help us to follow you with wholehearted devotion. In Jesus' name, Amen. The scripture from today is Matthew 5, 1 through 12. And what I'm going to do is just tell you the attributes. What I want you to do is read the whole, well, that whole passage of the Beatitudes would be great, but, for well, that whole chapter, but specifically Matthew 5, 1 through 12. So, I'm going to describe the NIV version, the 1984 edition, and it says that, Blessed are those who are, or in spirit, those who mourn, who are meek, who hunger and thirst for righteousness, who are merciful, who are pure in heart, who are persecuted, all right, who are peacemakers, who are persecuted, insulted, and evil set against you. Now, the message version says this Blessed are those who are at the end of your rope, lost what is most dear to you, content with just who you are, work up a good appetite for God. You are blessed when you care. You are blessed when inside. I have to interpret this. Hold on. Inside um, the world, mind, and heart put right. I don't quite get that. You might read that in the message. I may have uh, miswritten that. Anyway, and then blessed are you when you show people how to cooperate instead of compete. And when you're blessed when you make a commitment to God provokes persecution. You're blessed when your commitment to God provokes persecution, put down when you're thrown out, when you're spoken lies about you, and the motive there is to discredit Jesus. So anyway, live through Matthew 5, 1 through 12. Now, here are my devotional thoughts about this passage, and I hope you find it encouraging. What does it mean to be blessed? Happy, satisfied, overflowing with love when I, out of a heart of commit commitment of wholehearted devotion to Jesus Christ, and recognize that I don't have it all together. I'm blessed when I have a sorrowful heart, grief over sin, a longing for something more, for someone more. Capital S, someone. I'm blessed. It means, blessing means to realize I do not have the power to make it on my own nor do I need to exert power over others. Being blessed means that I want God's holiness more than wanting instant gratification. Being blessed means that I extend grace and I truly empathize with the pain of others. It means that I have a wholehearted devotion given over 100% to Jesus Christ. And it means I'm more concerned about God's holiness and mercy to others than being right. And I am made fun of, mocked, laughed at, scorned, hated, plotted against because of my love for Jesus. And here is my response, my application. Utter dependence on God. That's what I keep thinking as, as I wrote this. Independence Day loomed ahead at the time of this writing. I declare I am utterly dependent on God. I don't know the end results of all the stress I'm experiencing. The overwhelming debt, the failed investment property, the care my special needs son requires... But what I do know is I am to be transformed. I am not to be conformed to the world, the world with its fears, stresses, status symbols, materialism. I am to be transformed, utterly dependent on God while independent from the world. So I might prove the good and acceptable and perfect will of God. That is the keystone of the blessed, not stressed lifestyle. Taking captive every thought, stress, fear, bitterness, etc., obedient to Christ, Offering our bodies as living sacrifices, this is my accept acceptable 
act of worship. Romans 12, 1 through 2, and 2 Corinthians 10, 5. When I do that, I am truly living in blessings. It's a journey, it's a learning experience, and sometimes, many times, I fail, but when I consistently walk on this path, great blessings await me, because he can do immeasurably more than I can ask or think, and I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Ephesians 3.20 is one of those verses where that comes from. So my challenge to you, what does it mean to you to be blessed? Read Matthew 5, 1 through 12 and write the Beatitudes in your own words in one column. Write the result for living that way in the next column. Then in the third column, write your applications. Now go for it and turn your stress into blessings. Remember, you can always write. Oh, that's if you have my book. If you have my book, you could write in the book itself. So be sure to look below for the link to the book. And then you can do that. All right, so... My activity, or the activity for your family. Play capture thoughts. Write or draw negative thoughts that set themselves up against the knowledge of God. Choose a person to be it and have the children carry the signs. Now the it person tries to tag the children with the signs, capturing the thoughts. And I will end in prayer. Dear Lord, we praise you for giving us the power to demolish strongholds and to hold every thought captive in obedience to you, help us to live a life of blessing, a life of beatitude, as your son taught. In Jesus' name, amen. So that's all for the day. Now, tomorrow, I am going to do one of my Blessings Journey extras. And I think that will be the end of this series. However, I am in the midst of a huge deadline. I'm having all sorts of challenges. So your prayers would be much appreciated, appreciated, I'm sure, even if you heard this months ahead of time, it would still help. But yeah, so talk about stress, and I'm really, <laughs> actually, ironically, or not so ironic, it's how God planned it, this, reviewing this for me has helped me. So if... <laughs> If I help nobody else but me through this, which I'm sure that's not true, I know other people are being encouraged by it, it's all worth it because I'm experiencing a lot of stress right now and I have a lot of challenges and a lot to do and the sheer volume is just mind-boggling. Okay, so all that to say, I don't know beyond Sunday... When I do this blessing journey extra, if I'm going to keep doing the extras or if I'm going to transition to another study, either Becoming God's Bride, which is the Bible study, or a devotional called Falling in Love with the Bridegroom. So that's what's on track for the next few days, weeks, and this month. Now again, if you want the free blessings devotional plan, check the link below. Now, if you'd like to look into my book, The 31 Day Blessings Journey, if you want to go deeper with the scriptures and do things like the further study, which is something that I don't go over in these podcasts, you know, and the other features like the worship suggestions, there's a lot that in the book that I don't cover in the podcast. If you want to find out more, if you want to experience that for yourself, and if you want the accompanying journal, then check that out also in the description box below. So with that, I'm going to leave you with my favorite blessing. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. This is Dana Susan Beasley of AngelArts.biz. Together, may we reach new heights in our lives and beyond.